good morning to all today we are going to see what is shear force and bending moment okay in structural analysis so first we are before going to see the shear force and bending moment we are going to see what is mean by beam beam is a structural member which is subject to the transverse load okay and what are, what is mean by transverse load the load which perpendicular or it ha it has non zero component perpendicular to the longitudinal axis of the beam okay that is called as a transverse load and the shear force shear force it is the unbalanced force on either side of a section parallel to the cross sections okay next moment it is the product of force and perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the point about which the moment is required to be calculated and last is a bending moment it is the unbalanced moment on either sides of a section in a plane of the beam okay so this is about what is mean by beam transverse load shear force moment and bending moment now we are going to see various types of load are going to act on beam so first type of load is point load so here in this figure you can see the point load the description of the this point load is like this concentrated load act at a point see here you can see the load is going to act on a point only such load is called as a point load then uniformly distributed load you can see the figure b here the uniformly distributed load uh, in uh, that uh, load is going to act as a w per meter length so uniform distributed load wide over wide area rate of loading per unit length okay here you can see per meter okay uniformly varying load triangular distribution here you can see the triangular distribution intensity of load at one point to that at the other that is w1 per meter and at second w2 per meter the load is here uh, increasing okay here you can see w1 per meter to the from the w2 meter next the couple okay a beam may be subjected to a couple like this in figure d you can see and last is a oblique load means the inclined load also going to apply outside of the plane uh, horizontal and vertical the effect of horizontal component is to cause a thrust in a beam vertical component of the load causes the bending and shear are treated as usual vertical load on the beam so these are the various types of load on the beam next is the type of supports okay you have seen what are the various types of load act going to act on the beam similar way what are the supports in the beam that you are going to see first is the knife edge support here you can see the figure a here constant area insignificant provides only vertical reaction no resistance to the turning or lateral displacement okay here not uh, lateral displacement is allowed here and no resistant resistance for the turning okay so that type that is that type support is a knife edge support next is a roller support that is horizontal plane you can see that support uh, in the figure b roller or horizontal plane support reaction is vertical no resistance to the turning on lateral displacement With lateral displacement there is a no movement okay next roller support the roller on inclined plane supports reaction in the perpendicular to the inclined plane allowed turning or lateral displacement here a turning is allowed okay a lateral displacement is also allowed and here also in point 2 also no resistance to the turning or lateral displacement but there is a no resistance it can move okay in lateral in the lateral displacement there is there should be lateral displacement for roller support and fourth number is hinge or pin support you can see the hinge and p support there is a vertical reaction you can see ry and rx allow the turning but doesn't allow any lateral movement okay it, turning is allowed but lateral movement is not allowed support reaction could be in any direction can be determined by resolving the application applied in horizontal and vertical direction and last is the fixed support don't allow rotation and the translation there is no uh, allowed uh, there is a no uh, there are, uh, uh, in this there is a not allowed any rotation and the translations and then next we are going to see various types of beams earlier we have seen the type of loading 
we have seen the type of supports now we are going to use the type of beams first beam is the cantilever beam here you can see propped cantilever only one support and one side is a fixed beam have one end rigidity built into the support large span or heavy loads provided by the additional supports are known as a propel and propel and beam as per prop cantilever next simply supported beam here you can see two supports okay beams with the knife edge supports or roller supports at the edge such type of beam is called as a simply supported beam beam with overhangs portion of a beam that goes beyond the supports is called as a hanging oh sorry overhanging may be on one or both ends okay and next is a fixed beam rigidity builds in supports at both ends beam have support reaction and the fixing moment at each end means when beam is a fixed beam in that case there is a reaction and a fixing moment also at the edges of the beam continuous beam you can see here continuous beam as a d figure beams that cover more than one span such beam is called as a continuous beam now beam in bending here you can see the both shear force and the bending moment are vector quantities uh, required the conventional conventions of signs in order that value of opposite sense may be separated mathematical signs are chosen since it is in calculation problem that is become necessary to use such con convention okay here you can see the table 1 sign convention and the units for shearing force and the bending moment so load effect if there is a shear force you can use the symbol q v s and bending moment we can use symbol as a capital m and sign convention positive and negative okay here is this diagram you can see upward force downward force left side upward force right side positive sign and the negative force here left side upward right side downward in that case we are going to use negative sign and the both and for and uh, uh, unit is here newton or kn you can use and for moment newton mm and kn meter okay so bottom fix in the tension if the clockwise left side anti clockwise right side such case we are going to use positive sign and when there is a anti clockwise in left side and clockwise in right side in that case we are going to use a negative sign okay so these are the sign conventions we are going to use for calculation in a problem sorry calculation by the calculate calculation beam in bending the shear force at any transverse section in a loaded beam is the algebraic sum of all the forces acting on either side of the section means the shear force here summation of all uh, all algebraic sum of the all forces okay the bending moment at transverse section in the loaded beam is algebraic sum of moments about the section of all the forces acting on one either side of the section working of the left of x here you can see this is x and from the uh, left side of x we are going to calculate it now reactions so ra here left side upward force we are going to consider positive okay left side downward force negative we have to consider here and moment if you are going to calculate at x so ra into a that is upward so that is positive v a into distance so here, here you can see the distances small a a1 a2 a3 are the distances from x axis so here r a into a minus v a into v1 so this how we are going to get the moment so working to the right of the x if we are going to consider the right x here so q x here q x r b is negative here and vertical load here positive so next moment is also positive r b into b is positive and downward side minus v4 into the distance b okay that that value that, sorry that value sorry sorry that is a4 okay so that distance uh, from uh, of v4 v4 from the x so this is how we are going to calculate the moment and the shear force things to be remember for the drawing of shear force and bending moment so following things you have to remember so start from right hand section use sign convention of the side which you are chosen that is right or left if the things are complicated use other side of the section start from zero and end to zero bending moment at the ends will be zero 